October of 2019 when we moved here to Green Acres Chocolate Farm in Bocas del Toro, the beautiful Bocas del Toro, Panama, we were told that there were several endangered almendro trees on the property. Well, I didn't know anything about what an almendro tree was. It did catch my attention that it was endangered. The former owner did also tell us that someone had offered him $10,000 to chop down one of the trees. Well, that definitely caught my attention. It turns out that the almendro trees are termite proof. The wood is so hard. As a matter of fact, the wood is so hard, you cannot hammer and nail into it. You have to drill first. So it, because of the nature of the hard wood, it is really coveted by construction to the point that now almendro trees are almost extinct throughout Bogus del Toro and much of Central and South America. After we were here at Green Acres for a couple months, our almendro trees started dropping their almendro seeds. And another couple months went by and we had 50 endangered almendro saplings. And then we had a hundred and then we had a thousand. We've had at least 5,000 endangered almendro saplings just pop up magically from our beautiful trees. Well, we wanted to look at pro providing a reforestation effort using the almendro tree saplings, but we thought we would make sure that what we were doing was ecologically sound. We investigated, we found a documentary called Almendro, the Tree of Life, where we learned that the almendro tree is quite possibly the most important tree in Central and South America. Why would I say that? Well, the almendro tree is the beginning of the rainforest canopy. An almendro tree grows 150 feet tall, lives for hundreds of years, over 1,000 organisms depend on a single almendro tree. Isn't that crazy? 16 species of mammals, 19 species of bees, over a hundred species of birds, as a matter of fact. The almendro tree is the only tree that the critically endangered great green macaw will nest in. Well, that birthed our Just One Tree initiative, where we started planting almendro trees throughout the Bocas Archipelago. In addition to that, we also provided some of the almendro seeds to the Panama Minister of the Environment, which was very exciting. Up to this point, we have planted 2,832 endangered almendro trees in seven islands and four areas now on the mainland. This is a super, super, super exciting and rewarding experience for me. It really hit home a month ago when we were invited to a remote Nobe village in Salt Creek in Bastimientos. We brought a hundred almendro saplings with us for the natives and planted them so that it would provide shade and help their rainforest to grow. And I realized I may never be in this village again. And yet we're leaving the village with something that will provide home, shelter, food for thousands of animals, thousands of insects, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Things that'll happen after I'm gone. It was a really amazing epiphany for me that we can provide a future for this planet. And really that's what just one tree means to me. There are so many scary ecological issues that are happening. But if we break it down, we start protecting the rainforest that we have, and we start planting and growing the rainforest that we can, 
that's a pretty good recipe for hope. And I think that's what we need right now.